and I could technically sleep at the airport, but I really want Wi-Fi, like it's vital. All these trips for me, I'm taking it from my own memory, of course. But everything's also an investment. And my friend I met yesterday, we went out, she just told me that in Bali she got her phone stolen, both her and the guy she was with, and the monkeys were mean. <laughs> so I would hate to lose all these amazing videos because I can't upload them to a cloud server or upload them on IG, which is kind of like my backup. I post a lot, that's my backup thing. When I lost all my videos off my external hard drive from Tokyo and Brazil, I still had some stuff on like Facebook IG at the time. But yeah, so I think that's kind of what I'm gonna do. Oh, there's a light and sound show that happens only at night. So I can go around like 11 something, already be at the airport. It's the land side, so I don't have to go through security. I don't gotta worry about my bags or nothing. I don't gotta do TSA, none of that. Like, and then I can see the show, take some pictures. I took, <laughs> let me, I'll, I'll tell y'all about that in a second. Anyways, I can edit, it's gonna be silent. In the middle of the night, it'd be so quiet, which is perfect for editing. I could get a whole bunch of vlogs up, make more storage, and then, yeah, catch my flight. Like, it was easy. Honestly, I thought it was gonna be a lot worse, but that, that 10, 15 hours was pretty manageable because it's a nice ass airport. But ironically, remember I was told you I was waiting? I was editing, but I was also waiting for the waterfall to turn on. I looked at my pictures. I realized I didn't even take any pictures with the waterfall on. I took it around nine o'clock. The waterfall didn't turn on until 11. Cause I was honestly just kind of tired and I wanted to go do the other activities. I had bought a ticket for like the canopy and the upstairs play activity. And at that point I just didn't care. I didn't really have anything to prove, but I could go back and also get some like videos and pictures with the actual waterfall in the background. I'm not pressed about it. The photos came out really nice, but just a thought. But I'm outside today. We're going to Chinatown. We're going to a hawker street market because I really let me make sure I got cash. I want to do that, and we're just gonna finish up vlogging pretty much. But I think that is the plan. I'm gonna head to the airport early. Okay, the Wi-Fi here is really bad. It's comfy. The bed's comfy enough, but you know, as a content creator, the Wi-Fi is really important, and I don't want nothing to happen in Bali. I have a backup phone. It's not as it's like the iPhone 8, so the pictures aren't good. But I do have a phone for an emergency. But yeah, I'll talk to y'all. Y'all, we walking because I want to see the sights. People are outside enjoying life. I'm here for it. I just want to show the human experience for real. Oh, there's some really cool street art. Oh yeah, we walking, honey. I just saw the most pretty mural. It's warm. I'm a little overdressed, but I am comfortable. But yeah, and the next place we're going, y'all, is even more exciting. I'm so happy. I really am. Again, I was supposed to be with somebody, as y'all know, and I want to tell y'all something real quick. Give me a second after I leave the light. Buys multiple fans to combat the heat and humidity doesn't bring any of them yeah anyway so i realized i do want at some point because i kind of had i was talking to a girl yesterday she goes yeah i kind of told myself that i want to be in a serious relationship before i'm 30 i'm like i kind of have the same thing and i realized i want my we met on a plane story or like me you versus the world but I really do value my solo travel. Like I really, really do. I realize if I had somebody by my side right now, I'd be a little annoyed. So I'm glad I'm getting it out of my system. But I just saw a reel and it was done so well. And he was talking about the fact that like with travel, and I know it's a first world problem and I know it sounds spoiled, but he's like, you meet so many people. Like, and it's so temporary and it just, it's so fleeting. And of course it's better than never going and being able to like, actually meet people and having that experience but you say so many goodbyes i think it's a little hard on the spirit the girl i just met yesterday i was like oh my god i love you and your energy okay i'll never know if i see you again at all maybe another country who knows and it's so surreal but i'd rather go and have the opportunity than never go at all especially in the safe cities Okay, you better not be behind me. Yo, know, people are so annoying. I was, uh, like, after walking, I've had it happen, like, four times. I don't like this tunnel. Hold on, let me stick with the businessman. At the late, he was walking behind me, and for some reason, he just started slanting. So I started slanting, and then, all right, we good. 
<laughs> Anyways, I'm just extra careful. I was like, okay, let me stop. Somebody, if I feel like somebody's following me and it's like broad daylight, I was like, let me stop immediately. And, uh, you know, they can keep going. So tell me why I stopped at the corner. And then he stopped at the corner and acted like he was just like chilling. I was like, all right, whatever. But he's not following me anymore. I'll see you. All right, looks like we're going to a cafe, y'all. Damn, and it said it was gonna rain. Anyways, I did tell the individual I was seeing at the time, which is fine. I was having a lot of problems with them and it wasn't gonna work out. But I let them know, I was like, when I come back, I don't know who we're both gonna be. And honestly, it's gonna put a rift in this relationship. If you wasted my money like that, and on top of that, I'm on this trip solo when it was supposed to be a joint thing. But I digress.